Hello, 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 hello. How's everybody doing? Welcome to Draw with Santana. We're going to continue some work on our table. Uh, specifically around this area here. Fill in that space as we are working left to right. And we're going to have some fun doing it. We've been having a blast with this table. Thinking of all the crazy stuff we can put on here. What's up? How you doing, Nucleus? We are going to find some other interesting stuff to put it back here, maybe. It's kind of hard because everything is covered up pretty well already. So we can't, we don't have a whole lot we can put in there. The last time we left off, we were trying to measure out some, some more of this staircase over here, which I think I want to alter somehow, but I'm not sure how. <laughs> I don't, uh... <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't party that way, man. <laughs> we will not be putting Mr. P and John Rainbow in this one. I'm, I have to look at this table, not you guys. I'm going to be using this table, hopefully, for a nice long time. Which means... Uh, if you just suggest something for me to put on the table, I might put it on there. But if I don't want to look at it, um, <laughs> then that's not it's not going to make it. Uh, <laughs> I I'm not sure I'm not sure how that works. I don't know. We will think about what it means. Um, I don't think we'll ever discover the meaning. Excuse me. We are. How does this work? Uh, take a measurement from up here so that we can continue. Let's see, that's 10 and 10 there. Ten. So that's supposed to be there. You, well, you have no idea. Good, good, good. Because <laughs> you were hitting on my FOMO. <laughs> Alright, let's go with that instead. Um, I want to keep this somewhat just It does not have to be perfect. But it should be close enough to fool us. Ten and a quarter. Yeah, so it's is that what it's going to be? Ten and a quarter. I wonder what these other marks I made down here are. Um, let's measure. That's the only one we have clear. Wait. It's ten and a half. Almost. Boy, where did I measure from? <laughs> that should be the same on either one of those. Hmm. Let's 
Let's figure this out right, because... Yeah, it's a ten and a half. From under the rail to under the rail. So... We'll go with that. Now I made too many marks, and it's getting crazy over here. Yeah, these other marks, I'm not sure. I might have measured them in haste. Because they are throwing me off. I really, man, I don't... Am I doing too much work? I might be doing too much work, because that might be covered up. There is some other stuff I want to put down here. But I do need to do that first. It's turned into a logistical nightmare. Uh, which, there are worse kinds of nightmares. Oh, I got nowhere else to measure from. Idea for crap superhero. Mark Mancha? I don't, I don't know if I have the context, because that went over my head. Let's see. Yeah, that's going to have to be... I guess we do have to do this. Maybe that's just because I don't know what else to put in here. Alright, that's where I got that mark. I need more places to put marks. Oh, is that what you're saying, Mark? Because I keep saying Mark. Uh, stain. Ma uh, yeah, in Spanish, mancha is stain. I don't want to mark there. Maybe I can get a... something off of this. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing wrong. I gotta measure for somewhere else. Or a mark. Well... No, I think, um, marca is a word, so it's like, uh, doesn't just mean brand, it also means the mark, like, uh, it could mean a mark because it's a mark like a, a, a blacksmith's mark or, um, like any kind of mark, like you make your mark. I measure from here. That's seven and a quarter. Nearly seven and a quarter. Gosh, where did I measure from? Yeah, okay, so if I measure from here, and that pans out. Does it? It does not. Why is it not lining up? Man. Close to seven. Okay. Well, it should be good. There, it's seven and a half. From the bottom of this to the top of that. Oh, it's more than that. The bottom of this. All right. 
Huh. New idea for a crap <laughs> Mr. P. <laughs> I don't know what this Mr. P stuff is, man. It makes me nervous. Uh, it makes me not like stuff. Are these shorter than those? I'm so confused right now. That's three, almost three and a half. These are almost, these are more than three and a half, which is fine because I wanted it to be that way. Getting smaller as we go towards the top. Uh oh. I wish there was an easy answer for this. Three. Almost, almost three and three quarters. So I did shrink it that way. Good grief. That's bad. <laughs> um, this is why you should have... This is why you don't procrastinate, because I'm sure when I was doing this, I knew exactly what I was doing. And now, yeah, kind of making it up. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Optical delusion. Um, but we want to we wanna be in the realm of correctness, right? <laughs> uh, so, let's see. That doesn't help me at all, actually. I need to measure from here to here. So that's the only one I have a clear measurement of. And that should be the 10 of... Well, let's go to the top of the thing. Maybe that'll help. And that's exactly 9 and 3 quarters. And from here... It's about 9... And a half, and from here, if we're guessing, it's about well, ten and something. Um, I just don't want, don't want it to look cruddy. Yeah, let me stand up. That will help. Maybe. Mm, that's ten and a half. More than ten and a half. Sure. So we'll just wonder if it looks like there's a little bit missing there. Which there's nowhere to measure from there. And I don't want to mark that. I want to clean it up. Yeah, I think it should be skewed like that. I think it should be right there. Uh, you can see, you gotta mind your vanishing points, but that's not to say that a thing isn't bent or... Yeah, exactly. Um, so I do, as you can tell, I have a general way to go in there, but we, since we couldn't really plan the whole table out, I figured I'd just wing it, and it should get us close enough. Um... 
but I, I wonder what I want to do with, with this exactly. Um, so what I did, um, when I originally drew it back in the day, um, I wanted it to, I, I wanted to bend the building because of the explosion, <laughs> but I knew that something like that would be really imperceptible, <clears throat> but it, since I am taking, like, a st making stylistic choices, I figured maybe I could pull it off. I get really ambitious sometimes. <laughs> when you get like Mr. P, you say. Yeah, well, I mean, the other option is to sit here and make even more measurements than what I'm doing now, like way, way, way more, um, you know, with a T-square and everything and trying to get that all lined up and sit here for Protractor and, um, that wasn't, that wasn't going to be fun for me, so we are and we are calling close enough close enough right we don't want to worry about it all day long we want to worry about it a little bit just a little bit we're gonna wiggle it just a little bit whatever the case may be and that's more or less in the right place so and it should have a little bit of perspective growing on it. And when I'm sitting here, the perspective is exaggerated because I'm not exactly square with the table you know, behind it, so to speak, in front of it. It's at a slant. You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. So we're just going to go for close enough. And that is close enough. Don't want, don't want it to be so uniform though. That much, that much does bother me that we're just repeating the same thing over and over again. Plus, honestly, I don't want to do this great anymore. That takes forever. <laughs> and then I have to, like, draw what's behind it in the little squares. It's just, that's a pain in the butt. Um, so what we are going to do is try to change this up a bit. And I think... I think what will help it is an awning. We can draw through this because this isn't here yet. We'll do an awning with like a sign on the front. And that will help. Plus, right here, we're going to take this off. So I've decided what I wanted here, at least. Don't know what I want up here yet, but down here, <laughs> I'm like, not being very helpful. Let's try and zoom out a little. Um, to wait. Maybe I should just stand up. So down here is what I'm talking about. I want an awning with a sign, and I'm going to change this up to be a wall, um, not a wall, a little ledge, yeah, a ledge, and this will really start to show our perspective because 
it'll be mostly straight. Right, and then I want to have some characters, um, some characters sitting right here, just watching all this craziness, and not really interested in anything. They don't care, they're just down to watch. Just another Tuesday. So we'll have some characters here sitting on this ledge. That's not, that's not even where they're going to go, because <laughs> they should be down here, but whatever. Um, so that's what's going to be there-ish, and that means, because I decided to put them there, and that's kind of cool because they're almost centralized, that's going to push our other robot, uh, whatever that's going to look like, won't look like this, somewhere around here. Um, but that's okay. So we do want to show off some of this stuff down here. And then, um, let's see, we're not going to have to draw that window. But I guess some of this will be filled out with this color, assuming I can find it. Um, I wonder what that says. <laughs> I cannot read kanji, sir. I'm afraid if you translate that. <laughs> you, says, you say it equals ramen, but I feel like if I put a... Um, one of those is like the... I see that you have the, the kanji for like... The way things are pronounced instead of the way that like... Uh, the words they mean. So... I'm not sure. Uh, I have I have no idea what to think about that translation. But I see that we're already rubbing off our thing over here. So let's. Uh oh. Maybe, yeah, huh? I mean, I believe you, I'm just, it's hard for me to assign innocence to you. <laughs> it could be. There's, uh, the devil in your, the devil's in your details, right? Um, <laughs> is that what you said last time? I don't remember. Um, so let's put something... We're not going to have a lot of space back there, which is great. Um, so I am kind of done drawing that. But I feel like... Uh, I think a, a neon sign would be cool. Right in here. Uh, that said something like... Um, something detective agency just to just to remember that uh we we love our detective stories and our cyberpunk future i think that's uh yeah exactly just this one <laughs> you have to be so that you can make me believe that you might be useful in the future <laughs> and then you can and then you can trick me again, right? You have to you have to turn a leaf so I so uh, so you can continue to to troll me effectively. And there's detective agency. You know what? That's not even bad. That's uh I that's pretty good. I don't think anything's gonna beat that. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, yeah, I think you hit it on the head before anything could be done about it, so, good on you. <laughs> oh boy, so I might as well mouth off about uh, this, if you guys 
I've been watching absolutely everything we do. You would know that Tanner... Tanner is a detective in one of my campaigns. A so-called detective. Really, he was like a... Uh, the Gru version of a detective where like he's uh oh I'll solve this crime for you and he just showed up and killed everyone the world's best detective in the world yeah he was he was just a, a, an absolute murderer um man it's just like uh you you were you were really lucky if you got investigated by Tanner and you survived <laughs> oh man I was just like uh, uh, <laughs> people playing a detective in a, in a role playing game is hard to begin with uh, and if you you're not sure what you're what you're doing about it. You you can really mess it up really quick. Um, <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna think. I think I'm gonna try and do this in neon blue and try to make it like the tubes that are all connecting the letters together. I think that would look pretty good. You need the skill and the skills. Yeah, it, um, I, I, I swear if I, I can teach, I swear I can teach you guys how to detect it in an RPG. It, it, it's, it's hard for, for me to fail at something like that because about PGMing. But <laughs> even if I can get somebody else to GM, I swear I can get you guys to detective. Um, in an RPG, I feel like, um, uh, I, f I feel like I'd make a pretty good detective in real life because I've had a little bit of experience, um, detective team stuff. <laughs> um, like I figure stuff out for people in real life, you know, little, little mysteries who drank your soda. Stuff like that. I I got some skills to figure it out, <laughs> um, and also like it's like when I politician. Well, I mean that's um, you were just engaged in uh, you know polemacy or demagoguery or sophistry, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it wasn't like um, that's a little easier. Um, in a role-playing game, or maybe even in real life, too. Um, that's really crooked, but we can, we can fix it as we go. And, um, the, the mysteries that I used to solve, like, every weekend was, uh, you know, after... After, uh, after good guy Hector had had enough of the day, uh, he, he would, uh, drink way too much and not knew what happened. And then, um, <laughs> when he came back in the morning, he would have to figure out, uh, what, what fun guy Hector had done. <laughs> You know, I can't, you're not even, man, that's, you're, you're, you're way on the nose today, sir. <laughs> and he says there should be a blood streak into Tanner's detective agency, like a body was dragged in or maybe, a, yeah, yeah, I mean, absolutely. But I would figure out what I had done the night before, um... I'd have to put all the clues together and do my own little detective work. And I started to get pretty good at it. Um, and uh, those those mysteries, 
yeah, those mysteries were fun to figure out. Um, like one day I figured out the mystery of the refrigerator burritos. So I was so hungry and I looked in the fridge and I knew there was nothing there because, you know, I'm a, I'm a bachelor. There's not going to be any food in there. But nonetheless, there was some microwavable burritos and I was like, what? Who put these here? It's like, um, like my, my roommate doesn't buy these. This is the kind of stuff that I eat. How did they get here? And, you know, long story short, I figured out that I had bought them for me. <laughs> and that's not easy when you have absolutely no memory of something, right? And you have to, you have to snoop on yourself. Um, you have to put things together in a way that is conducted to your reaching that kind of conclusion. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is off, but that's okay. We will continue to fix it as we go. Let's see, because we want to make it the the tube letters, right? The the neon tube letters, the old school like argon or whatever it was, uh, the neon stuff that they used to put in there. The, the, the twisted tube light. Because he's, um, you know, he's not about to pay for <laughs> modern. It's probably more expensive because nobody makes this anymore. So maybe he's using him to show off that he's uh, doing well despite killing half of his half of the people that he in investigates. Uh, yeah. Plus, helicopter will get a trip out of seeing his, uh, his character get a, get a little, uh, Easter egg thing there going. A little nod to little nod to helicopter <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that does fit that is a uh, reflective Reflective of uh, what really happened. And this is going to take some time because I got to figure out how this tube's going to wind back and forth and connect to itself. Man, imagine how much a sign like this would cost. All this writing. Or do they even make open signs like this anymore with the tubes? Probably not. I think they're just backlit now. All right. Yes. Yes, that's how they work. They are the white part in the gas um, is the part you can see, and then they paint over the back parts of the tubes that are not supposed to be visible. Because um, otherwise it'd just be uh, pretty illegible, probably.
Um, even then, there's like parts that are not connected and they kind of, um, you know, there's, there's still like back parts to it. Um, not as much, but, um, yeah, even if it's cursive, there's usually something back there that's not, a uh, easily done without overlapping but this this is gonna look a right mess <laughs> um, clean off my eraser I picked up too much graphite No, not necessarily one, two, but I think the the coolest ones are going to be one, two, right? I mean, some of them, I don't know, I guess if it's impossible for it to bend a certain way or something, then they use more tubes. Or it's just easier to manufacture. Um, but we're going to go for it. We want... You know, one, two, <laughs> like this A. How do you make an A without some serious twistiness? Um, yeah. I don't know, did I put that in the right place? That looks off. Um... Yeah, there might be a limit to the length. Um, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure since it like it relies on the gas that the gas fills up the space fairly well, so it's not a lot of not a big deal there. But the, I don't know what kind of like filament or what they're using, so I don't know if there's a limit to the length of that. And I don't know if the machine like pushes it out, like pushes glass out like a noodle or something. There's a lot of unknowns here for me. I have not, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't know if that's a, ma a, a, a matter of power or, or, um, there is some limit. Um, I have not watched a how it's made on it. <laughs> Right, so I don't don't um don't really have an insight to the process. I just remember the ones that I've worked with. And uh, you know, even though you you look at these every day sometimes you don't sometimes you don't pick up the finer details. I think that's coming along okay though. We're not gonna we're not gonna get that deep into it. <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead. And, we're gonna go ahead and do our sign and assume that it works. Um, <laughs> we don't wanna. Not the kind of thing we're trying to do all day. Um, Uh, more than 8,000 volts at very little and select a static discharge. Uh, is that what it is? Like a little, uh, like a tiny little uh, lightning storm in a, in a tube? That's what you're making me imagine. Um... Just line as much of this as we can. Oh, see this T already doesn't work. Because how do you put a bend in it like that? <laughs> already messing up.
Um, yeah, the T would have to come behind itself. Go like this. And then it would probably bend behind itself. It's okay if I mess up on that because it's going to be blacked out. And then come back around this way. Go off this way. And then the two can go up this way. And it would probably make more sense to just continue up. this, come back behind itself, uh, up and around, and have like a little whoop that pops out there, and come back down for the end. Blocked out like the nights that led to a two burrito morning. Yep. Yep. Um, <laughs> those, um, you know, those, those, those nights were nice. <laughs> It's like, uh, <laughs> drunk means a pretty awesome dude, just helping me out, taking care of me. <laughs> Let's go back on this one. I guess we need to get the two back to the back so that it can twist back around without getting in the way of the next letter. Uh, couldn't name couldn't name himself Dan though, or something short. You have to be Tanner. This is <laughs> actually a little a little tricky. I've never done a neon sign before. Um, but that's cool. It is, it is kind of fun figuring out the spatiality of this. I wonder if I made that word up. Um, <laughs> we'll go like straight this way. And... Oh, I don't know if I like that. Put it too close together. Made a mess of that. Let's put some proper spacing in there. <laughs> too burrito moaning. Um, man, I, I used to live out of a... Uh, Out of 7-Eleven, half of what I ate was off of their menu. <laughs> Let's see. So that way, and then that way. And then, am I getting, I feel like I'm... Yeah, my my angles are a little off. Um, I 
that's going to happen. But we're... We don't want to use a ruler on this one because it might take out the... Might take out the fun. <laughs> So we want the, the letters to have that um that bubbly joy to them. So if it goes that way and then this way and then up that way, it's gonna pop back again. And then have a part that comes out right here. And then that part will go back down to this. So this will be like so. And then it'll curve around this way. This will be one contiguous line. I wonder if I use that right. What's the difference between continuous and contiguous? Mm. I'll have to look it up later. On this one, you can go straight across. So, and then go back this way, and pop this in here, that looks pretty cool to me, pretty cool, As a matter of fact, I think we're too far away. And you could try to find a way to letter it so that when portions of the sign are not that burnt out, it's felt kilker. <laughs> I think I got what you were trying to make, but I don't think there's any K's in here, so. <laughs> that would be funny if it worked well. Oh, man. That uh, that would be pretty funny if it worked. Yeah, we don't don't think we have enough uh, enough letters to do that. Um. <laughs> uh. Yep. Yep. Otherwise, otherwise, I'd be with you on that. Yep, that D looks awful. Let's let's fix that up. Maybe, maybe we can make it say death or something. <laughs> no, doesn't look like we can. Uh, it would be funny if, yeah, parts were messed up and spelled something like that. But, it doesn't look like it's gonna be possible. Mm. Um, right, let's do a, another E here, no, D, 
Even if I could make it say, uh, Joker, that would be good. <laughs> But I'm not I'm not seeing anything I can spell here. Uh, right. So we have to go. I think we're gonna do the T the same way. There'll be a thing back here. And then it'll come across just like so. And back this way, twist it underneath. Back this way. back over here. This is not coming out as clean as I had hoped. Which is okay. We're, we kind of jumped to lining pretty quick, so... Um, we should have expected that. Luckily we have our mechanical eraser, which Let's us get away with some of this stuff. Um, can get some more water here. I'm thirsty today. Great. Um, oh, let's go back here, so, that's a nice simple C, um, okay. That's going to need some cleaning up. Um, where did we go from? Oh, we came from up here, huh? So let's continue on from down here. Yeah, make our way up. To this next T. And make our way back. bottom here of the T. Oh, that should probably be straight across. Nope, not that eraser. This eraser. Yeah, I'm looking at it and I can't, don't, don't see anything funny that we could spell if the letters were blacked out. Uh, Not seeing anything. Uh, which I'm not sure I'd want to do because I do kind of want it to be like neon bright, right? As close as we're going to get with our markers. The red I have isn't like super red, so we're going to definitely go with blue. Should should be good. Okay. He's coming along. something like that. Um, yeah, that's fine. Well, 
eins. Oh, that's not fine. <laughs> We've got to go back so we can do the little middle part of the A. No. No, unfortunately, lol. I'm afraid that would make it get lost. I don't think it'll work. Plus, that would pro that would like make a style change. I don't want to do a style change. Um, it would just. It would look too alien to everything else. Yeah. So we, we want uh, things to stand out for what they are instead of for the sake of standing out and other things on this as you can see like the the pink on the juggernaut sign is like the best that we're gonna get as far as neon pink right we don't um, um we don't have markers that are like crazy crazy uh like this that stand out super crazy like that well maybe I should have gone to the bottom on that one that would make more sense keep our outline stuff so that we uh, so that we have this nice com comic book style that we're, we've got going um, so let's see that stands out like that and then go straight back. Nope, it goes down. It has to go down. Down, down, down. That's how you do a goth song. <laughs> I wonder if that's a real song. I'm pretty sure it is. Go down. Yeah, you guys need to take that stuff. Um, would you consider that talent? <laughs> Agency is coming out pretty good, though. It's not too jacked up. It's less jacked up than I thought it would be. So that means we're going to be able to clean it up pretty easy because we haven't done the black parts yet and that should help cover up, cover up our sins like I like to say. Oh, let's see if I got a connection issue of some sort, a little lag. Yeah, well, you know, the campaign that we're running, um, the reason, and a good reason you didn't min-max is because Insight is not a throwaway stat in this one. Um, sense. Sense is not a throwaway skill in this one. If it was a mundane, a mundane thing, then... Yeah, you could have gotten away with not having sense and not having, uh, 
Um, the other stuff. I think we'll do the fork. I'll go Y. And we'll go back. Like so. And then come back, and then that'll go into the sign somehow. Not too shabby. The active is a little too fat, but. Um, yeah, well, we can fix that easy. And, uh, as far as my perspective goes, it's a little, little bit off. I think I was sitting at a bad spot. Oh well, we're just going to have to go ahead and redo the whole thing. Well, you've been doing fine, so... Um, it's not like that's been a huge hindrance to you. Does look straight enough. Um, I should have. It's too late now. We're just going with it. We're just going with it. Plus, like I said, I didn't want, like, I wanted it to look a little janky, because, um, in my opinion, those neon signs, it's probably nostalgia from reading comic books where these things are clearly drawn by hand, that I'm thinking of. Um, and the, the, the fact that they're, like, I'm sure at least at one point there were like hand hand bent by just some guy who knew how to do it really well. You know, like um like most things start some guy making them by hand. That's kinda what I'm going for. Like, <laughs> made signs. Yeah, so, so like, it, like, you know, I'm always coming up with uh, stories for the sign, for everything that I'm drawing in my brain while I'm drawing it. And in this one, like, Tanner finds a guy that like can make signs so he he bullies him into making it right <laughs> he's like not willing to pay for the he's not willing to pay for the for the artisan that that'll that'll do it he just finds some other guy and bullies him into it you know like <laughs> so the guy like does his best, and Tanner can't tell the difference is good enough for him, so, um, he probably still killed that guy's wife or something before. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that through, I messed that up a bit. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm imagining then kills him before it's finished and has to finish it himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? I mean, this is Tanner's sign, right? It's got to have some character. Um, <laughs> can't be... Can't be a generic... 
generic thing. It's got to be a one-off, just like Tanner, the detective. <laughs> uh, I still, I'll, I'll never, I'll never stop bragging on him for that because he was watching the Shield at the time. He's like, I want to make a character like Vince Mackey, but it's like <laughs> he just made Johnny the homicidal maniac instead. <laughs> I mean, at least Big Mac, Vince Mackey pretended to work in the confines of the law, covered up his tracks. <laughs> that was not Tanner's style at all. I don't know, let's go here. No, sir. No, sir, I probably found the poor guy just trying to take a leak. <laughs> it was over for him. The table now needs a boarded up neon sign store. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, where did I go with where did I go with that? Oh. Yeah, that doesn't look right then. Um, maybe. We do we do want to tell a story. I'm not sure I'm not sure that tenor deserves that much space on my table. Um, he's already got his own sign here. <laughs> uh, if we play the the cyberpunk campaign again, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to put Tanner in it. <laughs> uh. If the sign is is it is representative of tanner psychosis. Yeah, I mean it's gonna get cleaned up a tiny bit, but it is pretty much what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be a little a little closer to true. But not a lot. Don't want it to be a lot closer. Actually, I'd say looking pretty good on the parts that the Tanner's part. He wanted Vince Mackey, he played Alonzo for Betrayed. <laughs> no, at least, at least Alonzo, is Alonzo like the, uh, gosh, the black guy who played that Samuel Jackson or something? Um, Actually, it was much worse than that. <laughs> much worse. <laughs> oh, 
was it Denzel? I can't. I uh, I do remember enjoying the movie. I don't remember much about it. Um, no, I remember the plot fairly well when I think about it. I don't remember who played Alonzo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd say that's an accurate description. <laughs> yeah, Wayne Brady from the Chappelle show. That's who uh that's who he was playing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that doesn't look right to me. I rewatched the Chappelle show recently. It's so good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he definitely was the kind of guy to was probably uh, accidentally terrorizing um, oh, how did I do that? Okay, yeah. Accidentally terrorizing people. <laughs> And just just by being himself just by being himself okay that's fine not sure what that's supposed to be yeah who who did he join up with? I don't remember him. Was he solo? Like, he couldn't... Was he with Kappa or something? I can't remember who... <laughs> he did not murder Mr. P. <laughs> There was no no Mr. P in that campaign, sir. But if there was a Mr. P, you would have murdered him. <laughs> and then I wouldn't be so hard on his character, because at least he did one good thing. Is that I don't I'm so confused. Is that Mr. P? Is that who Mr. P is? Because I keep the reference just goes right over my head. He is now. See, it makes more sense. Oh, um, if we went there, we gotta go back down here. And then come out this way. And then we'll fix that. It starts getting off, getting off course. We'll fix this as well. Mr. P is a knockoff. Oh, that's what it's supposed to be. It's a generic version of Mr. T. Oh, 
But why? But why P? <laughs> why is it gotta be Mr. P? <laughs> I think that's the part that throws me off. It's just no matter what, it sounds like Mr. Gurin. I think it'd be better off as someone. Um, something a little different. Yeah, yeah, I knew I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, and I, you definitely showed your true colors, sir. Now it's nefarious. Nefarious? Nefarious? One of the two. Either one, probably. That's not a that's not a reason I'm happy about. I do not condone this. <laughs> that's what make that twist up like that. Dr. Nefario, um, you know, that is a good name. I, w I bet it's already taken, though. There's no way it's not. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think I'll bring the V, of the bottom of this V up a tiny bit. Oh, this is a little crooked, too. It's from those Minion movies of Gru- oh, I see, it is a thing. Um, I've seen one of those. I don't remember which one. Couldn't, couldn't tell you which one it was. I think I saw one where the bald guy was a kid. I don't remember if he was still bald. I'm having trouble picturing it. that though and I'm not sure if we want to maybe we do want to leave it there I'm not I don't know how much having another person in here will add you know what I do want another person there. <laughs> oh man, that's um, maybe because once I put the people down here, um, right around here, that might be that might be aesthetically um, worthless. But let's just finish the sign and stop worrying that hard ahead. So we are not there yet. Okay. Now if we just redo a agency. Uh should be Good here. Should 
shortly. Clean this pin off better. Uh -huh. So we'll do that back here. Have a G. Go to that way, that's the way we went. Clean that up. <laughs> I still think uh, putting, putting Tanner in the cyberpunk campaign, he would have done well. You know, though, actually, this is like the perfect universe for him. <laughs> now that I think about it, um, <laughs> that's who—that's the character you should have made. <laughs> uh, oh, I kind of not sure if I should have gone that way now. Yeah, that's fine. This N is a little too low. And that C is a little too high. And a little, little off right here. That's what's throwing it off. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm sure he gets busy. Um, should check if Helicopter wants to join us, though. Talking Since we're talking so much smack about Tanner... saying he's going to join us. Or maybe he stopped saying it. <laughs> I don't remember. Plus, I wouldn't blame him if he didn't join us today. I, I was exhausted after yesterday. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and color that up. Maybe we'll put a black thing behind it, because that would make sense. Let's find that neon blue. Is that you? Oh, this was much metallic. Um, do I have a neon? Yeah. All right, let's see how that works. Let's see how you look. Oh, up. All right. It's about what I expected. Wait, no, it looks more neon than up here. I guess it wasn't flowing right. Yeah. I 
think I'm going to hit this with a jelly roller afterwards. Um, yeah, I'm trying to be careful not to do it too much. But, um, you know, we can color inside of the lines. It's not the worst. But it will... Yeah, I will bleed a little bit. Sharp yellow enamel. The, um, so the jelly roller um, is pretty good at just going on top of everything. That's exactly what it's for. Um... On other mediums, it covers up even black, like, really well. And that's what I'm going to do to um, put, put, the, put the neon infect into it, as opposed to just leaving it like the blue color that it is right now. I think it's coming out pretty good. And of course, if we're not happy with it, we can always pick at it for hours until we're happy with it. <laughs> Besides, it's not that much. There, there isn't actually a whole lot of space in here to To use a traditional coloring technique. Um, the marker barely fits inside of the lines as it is. Um, yeah, I'm just... Uh, I mean, I don't know uh, if I'm right, uh, per se. Um, I'm just going off my instincts because uh, it's been working for me. And, like, I'm, I'm going off of uh, just... What the Mabel, what the, 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 the Mabel, what the table makes me think I should do. Like, as long as that keeps working. Damn, that detective looks exactly like the detective from Detective Comics, doesn't it? Old school. Man, I really like that. It looks, it looks dead on to it. That's crazy. That was an accident. I didn't do that on purpose. I probably did it subconsciously. Um, it looks so much like an old school detective comics thing, though. <laughs> nah, screw them. Besides, they don't have money to sue me anymore anyway. <laughs> oh, 
Oh wait, never mind. I think somebody who bought them. I don't know. I don't think anyone bought Warner Brothers. But Warner Brothers loves them. I guess I do have money, so I better better change it. No, nah, no way. It looks awesome. They don't own that. Gonna give that a second to dry. Mm. Let me push it over it some more. If I can get more of an effect that I want. No, I should have just left it dry, let it dry. I don't think this is adding anything. But I can't stop myself. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to leave that alone now. Okay. So if that's the case, we got to find this, this color somewhere. And I don't know exactly what color that is. been so long and I know I blend I blended a few colors in there and it's the same thing as the car all over again well it's in these that's for sure well, let's see what we got around here maybe it's one of you Uh, we're not going to be able to tell by the cap, are we? Man, none of these look like it. Time Magazine, Warner Brothers, AT&T, OL, or Conglomerate, which ones do you see? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they definitely have the money, I assume. But I don't think they will. I think we're safe on this one. Well, if it's not with the blues and some of the greens. Uh, maybe I misplaced it somewhere. This would be awful if I can't find this marker. Did I get that color? Good grief. Hmm. Um. Well. You gotta be around here somewhere, buddy. Mm. Let's see if this is it. Huh, that's kind of close. Nope. That's not it. God, I hope I didn't blend two colors together to do that. Because I'm never going to remember which ones they were. Oh, what a mess I've made. Oh, man. And I don't see any color here like that. Let's see. I know you're not it, you're not it, you're not it. That's not it. Looks like I was, wasn't using a fine tip marker. That can't be it. Mm. 
I'm starting to feel like I blended two colors together, which is a bad, bad thing. <laughs> what a mess. Um, any of you? This might be it. Oh, that looks pretty close. Mm, maybe not. Well, we can't remember. Yep. Yeah. You know, it wasn't so bad when I was uh living in my El Paso apartment. Uh, doing the thing, but, you know, then I moved, and I didn't even have enough room to put my desk up. Oh, this looks like it. Uh, maybe not, no. Nope. Close. No, this might be it. Um, you know, I was living in a place where I, I didn't even have enough space to put my desk up. So it wasn't exactly easy to work on it. <laughs> and if it's not easy, it's not going to get done. <laughs> That's just the way that goes. <laughs> uh, I kind of considered having some more day. I'm, I'm a little uh, um, overhung. Um, I had a little bit more than I probably needed. Yeah, I definitely blended some colors together, man. That sucks. What a dumb thing I did. Um, so I'm not trying to get there again. I'm going to enjoy... I'm going to enjoy getting over it. Which is part of the joy for me. Oh, this is bad. No. I don't want you. Let's, let's, let's see you. Yeah, that looks super close. It must have been a blend of these two. Well, you can come back, baby. Rock and roll never forgets. But I do. Sometimes, apparently. <laughs> uh. Uh. Plus, I don't um, I don't usually partake when I'm when I'm drawing. Um, not that I never have or don't always or whatever, but um, I usually forget that I'm. That I'm even drinking while I'm drinking because I get into the drawing and uh, oh boy, maybe I should have done this color first. I get into the drawing and I kind of forget that I'm drinking, just leave the drink there. Kind of just gets warm and stuff. I mean, I'm drinking the scotch for room temperature when I do that too, so it's not like a big deal, but sometimes it aerates. This cheap stuff that I'm drinking right now would definitely 
Definitely all right. Definitely, definitely. seems right I definitely having the same amount of trouble that I had the first time around <laughs> yeah and you know what to smear it off and we'll fill that back up Dead buddy, yeah. No worry. We'll add that. We'll add that afterwards. We're gonna add that on top. We are gonna put that right on top. So we need it to to dry. First, we're gonna try and hit it with a jelly roller. See if we can get a, a highlight. It should be dry by now. And then we're going to put some more black behind it. See if we can make it pop out a little more. sells it. That's the stuff right there. That looks pretty good. Turn on the door. Well, we're not going to have a door. Um, the the windows that we have here don't wouldn't line up with it. Um, now that we can't just add whatever random stuff we wanted to, we definitely could. Um, Making me want to. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna think about it while I do this side. <laughs> A bloody face print. I might look culty. Well, it, it's not the it's not even the the, the handprint or the face print that I'm worried about. It's the the fact that I don't think I want a door here. It's like um, where would it go? Would it add any value? Would you be able to tell what it is? I don't mind it being cluttered. That's not a problem. The the idea is to have a bunch of cluttered stuff in here. Um, 
busy. Busy is good in this one. But it's, um... Like, would you even be able to tell that it's a door at that point? And I don't think there's any way I could put it where that would, that would be the case. Where will the dead body books be? <laughs> Let's put it on the wall. Um... No, let's go with this. Let's put a sign back here that this is connected to. Oh, so I can just sit in front of this thing. I'll go like that. have it like on a box and then As a matter of fact better get that jelly roller back up and put some reflection on the black painted tubes So let me know that they're there. Uh, it needs to look like it was dragged in or out of tenors, respectable, <laughs> effective agents. <sighs> Um, yeah, on these red steps, I, that's not gonna, that's not gonna fly. Really won't be able to see it. I, um, maybe I could darken up the red. It just, it just seems like it'd be so, I don't know. We'll see. That's the, that's the answer. I don't know, we'll see is the answer, sir. Um, okay, we're gonna put this away. We will get our ruler out for this part. And we'll make a... Hmm. Yeah, didn't do that right. Okay, move that over a bit. And try to get that more or less straight. Mr. Wilsey was the victim of Tanner's investigation. Mr. Wilsey. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll see, all right. <laughs> oh, no, no. It'll be relatively straight. This is relatively straight. Relatively straight enough. Oh boy. Did I misjudge super horribly? Yep. Let's fix that up. And here I am on the road again. Um, 
Here I go, playing the star again. Here I go. Well, I don't even really need to erase that. I thought I was thinking about it. It's going to black it out anyway. I got carried away. And let's do this. do a line here instead. I don't mind if this sign's a little crooked. I think it's better that way. <laughs> I'm being honest. I wonder why that song popped in my head. <laughs> Couldn't have anything to do with this sign. I think I'm going to have to gray out because black may be too much for it. This is a daytime scene. Mm. Yeah, it's looking fine. There we go. Let's, let's do this. That does not want to draw over that graphite. Which is strange. Boom, boom, boom. People are strange. When you're a stranger, faces seem ugly. But when you're alone, women seem wicked. I don't remember the words to that song when you're strange. <laughs> Let's get another one. What are the darker grays that we have? Or the darkest gray that we have? Well, I guess I could do that momentarily. We still need to put all this in. Yeah, maybe it was just this blue. Looks like I went out of my way to disgrace, dis make the paint look distressed. Maybe I accidentally added that green and blended it in. So I wanted it to look like this wall was graffitied over so often that they constantly painted it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if those are the words, I don't think so. <laughs> it might be a little, a little different than that. I think that's. Uh, I think I'm a clone now. It's always one of me just to hanging around. I think I'm a clone now. Every pair of jeans is a hand-me-down. 
What would I say? We go out walking out together. <laughs> what would people say? It seems I'm besides myself. Part of some geneticist plan. Born to be a carbon copy man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you might be right. Ooh, why is this gray not gray enough now? Over here, is it the lighting? Is it because I... Oh, man. Over here, and over here, it's completely different. What are you doing to me, Gray? Do you? Am I going to have to double up on it to try and make it darker? Uh, it seems to be doing that. It's just such a pain on this table because the it revitalizes itself when you go over it, so it doesn't do it quite perfectly. And I don't have a dark gray. This is probably the darkest gray I have. Maybe I could blend in a little black. Smear that around. Born in a science lab late one night. Without a mother or a father. Just a test tube and a womb with a view. I think I'm a clone now. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and hope that that works. But my confidence is not super high. As a matter of fact, I might go back to the bottom corner and do some stuff about it because the more I look at it, the more it displeases my eyes because I used I used this gray next to another gray feature and it made it um, it doesn't contrast enough and I think it takes away from my Cyber Samurai, which I'm really, really happy with. Plus, I need to do a couple little things over there anyway. So we are going to let this dry. It's cool because this is, except for this part back here, that's actually done. I think I'll probably put some more graffiti around here as well. Um, so we are going to do that. We're going to come down here for a second. We're going to come around this way. Back down. Oh. Stretch and stand up to do this. <laughs> oh no, uh, get out of here, guy. Nobody wants you. Oh man. There we go. We're going to go back down here for a minute. I'm going to fix some stuff up down here that I didn't like. 
Or at least try to. While that other stuff dries. And first off, we forgot to put... Uh, can you even see it? No, but this girl isn't... She doesn't have enough horns. <laughs> I gotta phrase that right. Um, <laughs> we could have said that another way. Um, cow clones, maybe. So we will do that. We're just going to go in with this marker and see if it's good enough. And we're going to say yeah because that's fine. I just didn't like the way this came out. So we'll get rid of that line. Because our arm looks a little weird to me. Um, matter of fact. How would it look not weird? It's because of this curve, I see now. This curve makes her look like she has a cartoon arm. And that is not what we were going for. Let me get my eraser guard. And I wonder if these batteries are low or if it's just me pushing too hard. Matter of fact, problem starts down here. Have they cloned a cow yet? No, they cloned a sheep. And some dogs. I wonder if they've cloned a cow yet. Um... Yeah, that looks more convincing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see where my light is. I'm finding stuff a lot easier now that I've, uh, Organized. Forgot to put some white in here. You can barely tell, but I could tell and that was bothering me. Now I wonder, what if I just went like this? <laughs> uh, let's see, I might, might just be about, I might... Uh, might this might be dumb oh we're definitely gonna have to erase that later because i'm putting something else there so it doesn't flow very well if i do it that fast let me go ahead and test different parts of this, what this will look like if I do this. And that looks awful. What a stupid thing. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I know, 
I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I can grab this like this, and I can do that. Uh, that does make it look a lot more like asphalt. Oh, bollocks. I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna do it. I just, I can't stand this gray. I didn't like it. It has to go. It doesn't look right. Um, yes, sir. It is asphalt. Um, that's exactly what happened. It just... It's kicking me every time I look over at my desk. And remember, this is my criteria. For me, I'm the one who has to look at this all the time. So if something's bugging me a little bit now, I know it's going to be absolutely huge. Yeah, that's the worst kind of... <laughs> you don't want asphalt, yes, fault. <laughs> uh, that's going to... It's just bugging the heck out of me, man. It sucks that it has to be that way. But what are you going to do? Except the right thing, which is what we want to do. Yep, yep. So we, here we are, forcing ourselves to do the, the right thing, which is the, the not lazy thing. We don't want that to define us. want to find we want to find joy in our work <laughs> is a pretty pretty funny word huh um, when you break it down like that uh, and I'm probably off screen probably can't see what I'm doing, but, uh, it's already starting to make me feel a lot better, because it actually does look way more like asphalt now, as opposed to this streaky gray thing, which was too dark and messing everything up for me, um, This is uh, unfortunate. But it's better to change it than to let us bother us for, for forever more, right? <laughs> this uh, was not the kind of thing that I was going to be able to live with for all that long. I think we can leave the shadows alone. We don't want to mess with that too much. <laughs> and... Uh, you can... It looks like you guys can... It looks like way more contrasty than what it looks like for me. I'm trying to smooth it out. Uh, I might have to do smaller sections like this to get it to work. don't want it to look like it's drawn around everything I did, which is kind of what it's doing. That is unfortunate. 
so we might have to go through this several times until we can get a texture we're happy with. Still, unfortunately, this is absolutely necessary. <laughs> uh, we weren't going to be able to live with it the other way. You probably don't even see much of a difference, but... Man... tonality is a lot better. Let's see if I can't maybe at least clean up these shadows. And then then maybe I'll be happier. Let's grab that other gray actually and put these shadows back in because I'm messing them up. Oh, it's in my hand. Of course, and look, now that I try to put it in, oh man, it looks completely different. Great, thanks for nothing, guy. Absolute star choice. What a load of fooey. Let's see if this is dry up here yet, and if we can get that to go darker. Okay, it looks like that's working. Hopefully we can get it to near black, which is what I'm hoping for. Um, we might have to try this several times to see if we can get it to go as dark as we want there's no um i don't i don't think we can get a black and lighten it up um not without messing everything up it'd be Maybe I should try, but I don't don't think that'll work. And I'm gonna stick to my gut feelings over here, as I said before. Um, plus, this is kind of working. Becoming darker. So. Maybe after we hit it with a third layer. Um, so every everything I do like leaves its 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 mark is very apparent. Though. There's no there's no bleed or blending right into like the like I can blend colors on this, but I can't blend. Uh, like I can't, uh, th there's no bleed for the paper, so I, I don't know if, um, I don't like the idea of leaving dots everywhere. It's just not, I don't know, that's not what my gut's telling me. Will it, but then, it seems like a lot of work, man. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth it. I think if we just let it dry again, maybe we can get it to turn yet another shade darker, because it is a shade darker. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, the whole the whole table is a streak, which is fine because streaks um, streaks convey action, right? Which is what we want. Um, whereas pointillism is like an optical illusion, and that's not what we're not not what we're after on this one. <laughs> I appreciate your suggestions. It's just, um, like, for me to suddenly start using pointillism, and I did, actually, in the beginning of the table, but that was because the, the scale was real different and it was supposed to be on a vid screen. Up there with our Methacola girl. Um, I couldn't. At that scale, it was uh, it was different, and I did want it to look different. But if I start doing it in other places too, it's gonna be I don't know, it might be too much for me. Man, I like this other shadow that I did now. That looks good. Then streak the dot it will darken significantly. Maybe. Just having trouble doing anything here now. If I go like use this marker instead. Oh, that looks even more asphalty. Dang, this marker is way different. Gotta move this out of the way so I can get in here. I think we're just gonna have to go with this because the other one dries way too quickly. And doesn't let me get a proper smear. I'm trying to get a proper smear. No, it's too smeary. <laughs> Too smeary. That's a rapper's name, right? Uh, and as for the asphalt point, we might have to look at the effect. Um, so it it might. You're you're absolutely right on that one. However, um, the table itself, the finish is like pocked and I'm not going to be able to beat it. Um, you can't really see on the camera. Um, maybe I'll do a close up later. The table itself has a texture that is similar to asphalt. Um, and I'm, I won't be able to beat it or do better than that for it. This is coming out okay though. I'm gonna, I'm much, much happier with this. It's, it's easing my heart. Too smeary and 
No, see, no. Now it's starting to make sense. Um, if they're rappers, that makes sense. No, I'm not totally against it. <laughs> yeah, this is coming out. Uh, acceptable. The first album was Beth. The <laughs> first album was Bathroom Accident. Um, <laughs> you had to go and make it really scatological, didn't you? Um, that's actually not where I was thinking about that, but here we are. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, but now they've got um they're attacking it from both ends, right? <laughs> Man, I can't help myself. I'm sorry, Lord. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Smear better. That's too Smeary's fault. I guess it is. Okay, well, it looks really Smeary, but I dig it. Again, the smears and the streakiness is something I want because it makes it look alive like a sketch. Um, it's supposed to be super rigid. And I'm actually um, considerably more happy with it. It was going to keep bothering me. Um, this wasn't standing out enough. And I like the gray pants, so I didn't want to mess with that. All right. What he could use, so. It's just a little bit of line action there. We smeared that about a little a little bit. Let's clean it up. Clean that up and that looks much, much better. Now it actually looks interesting instead of just um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, messy. Or whatever. That's probably not the word I'm looking for. I 
That's what I need to do. I'll smear it around in circles. There we go. I actually don't mind all these marks. It looks like uh, it looks like the asphalt has taken a beating, and I like that. I like that quite a bit. Now it looks real interesting. Now I'm happy about it. Um, I don't know. I was kind of down with the bathroom incident. I don't know if I want there to be a poo factory. Um, like, I don't know what that is, and I don't want to find out. <laughs> I don't want to go to the poo factory, sir. I don't want to. I'd rather not live in a world where such a thing exists. I know there's like manure, stuff like that. Um, gosh, I guess there actually is poo factories, isn't there? But I don't know if, um, if two smearies down with that. <laughs> I mean, with a name like that, you'd be, you'd probably be a little surprised if he wasn't, right? But, yes, that looks better. No, no, I think the, I think you're, I hate to say this, but I think you're wrong, sir. I think, um, I think the fart is in the groove. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna up and do this instead of messing up also. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um <laughs> if we're gonna get technical about it. What are you saying? Like dot no, see these dots, they don't look right. That's what I thought of. that's what I was afraid of. We'll get it to darken, but I do not like that texture whatsoever. Um, yeah, we're just going to go with some little squiggles here. Like I said, the, uh, the streaks make it look like there's a lot of action going on like uh, animation style um, so I'm okay with streakiness uh, but the, the dots were not yeah tried it out sir didn't instantly didn't like it um, but I think these little squiggles are depositing more ink Instead of the dots. <laughs> I knew that I knew I knew what it was when I said it, and I tried to ignore it and hope that you didn't catch it. Um, <laughs> of course that wasn't gonna happen, but you know, we can dream. Uh That's actually getting pretty, pretty close to something I'm happy with. The sign is nearly dark enough. It's all about positing ink. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, the the thing is, like, uh, it's hard to get used to it, too, because sometimes I supplement the colors with, the, with cheaper markers, and they flow differently. And the Sharpies do a decent job of um, having all their markers flow approximately uh, at the same at the same rate so it's easy enough to switch between those but um, sometimes I, I screw myself up by switching to these cheap shuttle art ones and um, you know it tricks my hand into thinking that it's doing something else but because you know there's only so many I've only seen one shade of Sharpie gray. Sometimes I need another shade of gray. So, you know, we do we do what we can. We make it work around here. Let's see. I think that's actually good enough. Um, which is great. Let's put some more graffiti up here. And if you got any suggestions for that, I'm open. I'm open to whatever the graffiti says. I actually don't care if it says Mr. P and Dr. Rainbow or whatever, John Rainbow, whatever you're on about. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of nonsense up there. So more nonsense will be just just fine. Um, However, I think I do need to look for this red so that I can take this down in tone. Nope, they just made it more uniform. I was trying to make it look distressed. How did I make it look distressed last time? Um, here, let's see, I got another red here. You want me to write poop on the wall? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, I think this is what I was looking for. We can write poop. If that's what you're telling me to write. <laughs> you probably wouldn't even be able to read it. Um... But it doesn't matter, we just need more graffiti. Um, graffiti to Smeary and Mr. P? Alright. Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> it's not a... It's of no consequence to me, the, the sillier probably the better. <laughs> Let me find a color. Um, I haven't done anything in pink yet. I don't know if I want to use that neon pink, but I do have another pink around here. It should be pretty good. I don't know if I want to do a brown. <laughs> Um, yeah, I probably don't. So, I mean, you're not even going to be able to see some, most of this. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, it's creating its own unique color, and I really like it. And you and I are going to be the only ones that knows what it says. <laughs> because you're not going to be able to read this very well. Get in there. 
up to um let's fit this in we don't want to do a super good job because you can't even really tell Cannot even tell. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't fit any of it. Oh well. <laughs> that was a uh, whatever thing. <laughs> it's, it says absolutely nothing. That's okay, I'm okay with that. Um, definitely, we ain't gonna get to see too much of that anyway. Um, <laughs> needs an ad for Cronenberg genetic solutions. No, no. Um, as much as I love Rick and Morty, <laughs> we're not just gonna lift that right out of that universe. Um, just what that would feel like. Which red is this? I can't get this to look distressed. Oh. Did I hit it with pink? I don't know. Well, as you can see, it definitely says two spirit back there. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe it's not even close, but, um, that's fine. We'll, maybe we'll make the next one more legible. Let's find another color, another fun color. It looks like we don't have a lot of yellow graffiti. Let's do some of that. Let's grab a random yellow over here. Oh, wait, I don't want to do Miss. uh... I can't do Mr. P in yellow. I can't do it in orange, that'd be worse. Um, what else are we missing? I guess we could do some more purple. Yeah, Mr. P, you see it stands for purple, not whatever nasty thing you're talking about. <laughs> uh, I know who Cronenberg is. It's just the thing that Rick and Morty did a Cronenberg episode. Uh, they kind of, well, I mean, obviously it's like hijacked, but, uh, oh, but, um, it's just, I don't know, it's too, um, like they turned it into a, 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 a verb, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Can you even read this? Um, because they they Cronenberg the whole world. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Um, yeah. Well, look. I can't even read this. We are, we are going to say that says Mr. P. <laughs> Quick 
course it had to have an M in it. M's are M's are the worst for spatial reasons. Luckily you can't see anything around through here. Um So, we will be okay on that front. Gattaca genetics ad. Uh, see, I don't know what Gattaca is. Um, which I'm, I'm fine with their, the idea of there being a genetics ad. I haven't thought that far ahead yet, so I don't really know if I want to, but Let's do like a big old tail on this M for no reason. Yeah, who cares? I'm gonna be able to sell it all. Um, but it's like, it's hard for me to put a reference stuff like um, doesn't mean anything to me because, like, why am I doing that on my table for me? <laughs> you know? Let's outline this. Whoop. That did not work. From the 90s about eugenics. I didn't watch it. I did not watch it. Um, is that black? Where's my black sharpie? That should take care of this. Um, yeah, I did not, was it, um, let's say, let's take one of my favorites, if you had to say, if you were forced to say whether it was better or worse than Babylon 5, uh, which, which, which one would you say was better? Really? Well, if it was better than Babylon 5, maybe I do have to watch it. So, uh, that's, that's good news for me, because I have not really known what to watch lately. Um, so maybe I will pick that up. I think probably I will. Because I love me some sci-fi, and if you're saying it's better than Babylon 5, which is absolutely one of my favorites, I think mostly the the budget was the concern there. They just didn't have good effects and stuff in the first season. Check out the new B, uh, yeah, B5 animation. I definitely want to check that out. Looks pretty super cool. Um, gosh, should we line that over there? You know, I think we should. But I don't want to line it with a super thick marker like I just did. That would look... Oh, you really can't see any of this. But... But the 
that does make it look more more cartoony, which is definitely what we're going after. So <laughs> it looks pretty cool actually. Alright. Well, I wasn't even sure we're gonna add any more graffiti to this wall, but um, here we are. And and I have to think about what I want down here. But let's do a little tedious thing. And we're gonna fill in the spots in this grate with the background. Since we weren't sure what that was gonna be, we had not done it yet. But now it's time. And that is good because it's lifting that grate up off the background and making it look pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I could have easily just done a platform, you know? Um, but, like I said, the, the idea on this wasn't to just skim out on details. It was to make something really fun to look at. Something that was going to um, make me want to come back to it. Uh, not just to work on it, but also to work on other stuff, right? Like, do the rest of my artwork on it. And have something that I was, uh, give, give me a little sense of pride each time I come over to work on it. Having a having a nice work, workspace, I'm gonna make that tip of the day. If you got a nice workspace to come back to, you'll keep coming back to it. If you need to get a workbench or whatever it is, um, <laughs> you know what? I think I found a place for you. No, 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 I'm not gonna, not gonna give, not gonna let you get that in. It's kind of fun, fun idea for half a second. I changed my mind. Oh, and I wiped all this off. It's horrible. That's okay. That's okay. We didn't really know what was gonna be back here, so. Nope, nope, nope. It almost caught me in a moment of weakness, but I'm not going to let it happen. No, sir, I don't like it. <laughs> I was going to put a silly caricature for, I thought about it for half a second, but. So we can put anything on the walls we want. That doesn't matter. Silly stuff happens on walls. But I don't like that. Don't like John Rainbow. Maybe Rainbow John. <laughs> That might be more up my alley. <laughs> Probably not, but no, no, because one implies he's like, um, 
a visitor of ladies of the evening, or perhaps ladies and gentlemen of the evening, will Johnny Five make an appearance on the table? <laughs> What's up, you and doctor? I don't know, man. Like, I, I can be swayed. Look, did you see what we did here? This is, uh, okay, I don't know if you can read this. But we were, we were talking lots of smack about you earlier. And, uh, uh, because of it, we ended up with this sign here. I know it's kind of hard to read with the glare. But that sign is there because of you. <laughs> yeah, and let's see if I can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, maybe. Maybe we will we'll hint at that. Maybe we will. Um, like I said, I'm not against it. It's just a matter of the composition. Um, whether or not it will allow for that. Um, you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna force it to be. Uh, force it to be something uh, weird like change change things up so hard that it uh, to force that in there but I guess you are right it does kind of need it so if we can we'll try to put that in somewhere right and a bloody body streak into the doorway. See, you keep saying doorway. That's the problem. There's no doorway. Uh, there's not enough space to put it. If we had put it on the other side, we could have planned for that, right? But we didn't. We put it here. <laughs> and it makes more sense here because this is like the, the ghetto side. So I wanted there to be like a prettier side or on this side on the right that we haven't done yet. Yeah, it needs a way into the business, but that doesn't mean like you're not gonna put the sign not facing the not facing the street, right? You want the sign facing the street. So if you don't have a door facing the street, which in like an impoverished area you might not and Originally, remember the theme of this table is juxtaposition. So on this side, we have um, like really slummy looking parts. And on this side, on the, the side we haven't done yet, will be like the hyper expensive side, right? Um, like right, right crammed up right next to each other. And we can't put, we couldn't put Tanner's detective agency in the hyper expensive side. That wouldn't have made sense. <laughs> like, um, a bunch of rich people wouldn't be going to Tanner's. <laughs> no door into the business no blood streak oh uh ho hum <laughs> like i said we didn't plan for it so there's not enough space for it now sorry that your impromptu idea um couldn't convince me to change the entire composition of everything I've already done. <laughs> Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. 
he he bought it, get paid, kill everyone, build the door, profit. <laughs> no, can't you see? Like on our Tatiana sign, we have a arrow saying go that way. Like um, not everybody can afford doors, man. <laughs> Future's rough. <laughs> um, oh, still happy that that section's done there. I'm not sure we have enough graffiti, though. Tanner can afford many doors. Um... Tanner closes doors everywhere he walks. <laughs> he, he, there, his customers <laughs> are not giving him referrals. <laughs> the vape is a lie. Oh, you got you, you guys and your mouth fedoras. <laughs> oh man I don't want to have to look at anything referring to vapes while I'm doing this so that one's out of the question um. <laughs> I don't know I can't remember which blue I was using which sucks because I need to fix this up and it looks like I dug down pretty hard. Yeah, your vape. <laughs> how do you how do you tell everyone you're a douchebag without telling everybody you're a douchebag? <laughs> you wear a fedora. Or you stick one in your mouth. <laughs> Gia Dos no. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it's better than an ass hat. <laughs> oh, man, I can't. I don't even know which blue I used for this. I think it was this one. Yeah, it was. Not quite getting the same. Close to the same effect. Oh, kind of went over that funny. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Kind of revitalized it. I think the gray stayed in the blue, disappeared. I'll do some red too. Johnny Five when he went evil. When he was off punk. <laughs> ah. No, we need to do Johnny Five Thousand. <laughs> Right, twenty five was was in the past. I mean, this is the future. Even though he was pretty advanced. He was uh definitely smarter than today's AI.
Man, I used to love that movie too. I just don't think I want Johnny Five on my table. I have not seen that. I have not seen that in a super long time, so I'm wondering if it's as good as I remember. He had the leather and the mohawk. Totally fits the style of this table. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm just not sure if that's what I want on here. Um, let's try this again. Can't get it shinier. Eh, it looks beat up on the tip, and I actually kind of like that. Looks like he's been using it. <laughs> input. <laughs> Is that input? Uh, what is that? <laughs> that's, um, that's how Johnny Five turned people into imps. <laughs> Why do you see, like, you guys keep wanting me to put stuff from other universes in there? And this is my universe. Like, um, it doesn't make sense. You know, not what I'm going to do. I know the tanners is kind of a, a nod, but that's a nod to something I did. <laughs> not a. Like, I love GLaDOS, but I don't want. Glados in my original thing. No, that doesn't. Nah, don't. Not about it. Gangi with leather and spots. What's dangi? I don't know what dengue is. Uh, oh, oh, is that that was the robot's name? Was it Dan G? I would have, I would have probably spelled it for J. That's probably why I got confused, but. Um, I think I already have enough robots. I don't want to fill up the whole table for robots, so I'm going to do this robot here. And I'm going to do the other robot in front of it. It would have probably maybe kind of fit. But I already got my big clunky robot, and I'm going to have my sleek and sexy robot over here. And it's like, eh, it's too many robots. Right on, brother. Thanks for joining me, man. We will, we'll catch you soon. Alright, so... Let's plan this out because this is going to cover a great deal of stuff. And I don't know how much I'm actually going to get to draw up here. <laughs> Twitter.
remote control thing sexy robot. No, I'm good. It's um. So I kind of have like a. If, if you, if everybody has implants, um, which most likely everybody does, and they can, like, hop into a virtuality, then, like, you're going to want to have direct control of stuff by plugging yourself into the robot, right? So... So I kind of like they're not robots. They're like, they're gonna be mech suits. Um, so I, I figure you probably have like people plugged in directly. Let me zoom out a little. Just can't see what I'm doing. Um, definitely doing a scene about um like a lot of lost humanity, but. Um, because, because of, of my personal preferences, I want that humanity to be blended in. So, they're going to be mech suits instead of just robots, because, um, also, like, maybe you could hack, like, there's a reason for it in universe. Like, you could hack a robot, but if it's being controlled by a pilot directly connected to it, then you have a hard connection. It's like um, tow missiles. Are you familiar with tow missiles? It literally has two and a half miles of copper cable, and it can shoot the cable and be guided that way. Well, it's got a cable connected to it, the missile, and the reason they do that is because you can't hack it. Because you have a direct connection, you'd have to try to plug into the wire to redirect the missile, right? <clears throat> so it's it's their like putting a two and a half mile copper line, excuse me. <clears throat> is is their is their fix for, for not having a hackable weapon and having a guidable weapon. So that's kinda the idea like if you can put um if you can connect the human directly to directly to the to the to the robot then you can't hack the robot anymore and um, the well there you go right that's that's the reason for having um, that's the reason for having a direct line to it Yeah, because I mean, otherwise you could just hack the robots, right? If you can send us a if you can send a signal to the robot, so can someone else. Um, it's not that hard for them to figure out what frequency you're on. So you have so you have to like have a. It can either act independently and be shielded from all, from all things. But if you wanted a, a human control of it, well, you're gonna have to stick that human in there. Um. And, and get it get it to work that way um, so that's what we we want to like we want to insert humanity into into the scene as much as possible so we got to come up with stories for that um, and that was like when you played in my cyberpunk campaign you know, that was also the idea, like, um, sure, we could have AIs do everything, but, like, where's the fun in that, <laughs> like, without the human players, um, it gets a little boring. <laughs> well, those might be independent. Um, those, those might be like, uh, <laughs> they might just have a, an AI in them or a program that they run. They don't have to be so complicated. <laughs> and if somebody hacks them, like, who cares, right? <laughs> okay. 
Uh, it's like uh, just just don't attract people's attention, and you probably will be safe from getting hacked. <laughs> <laughs> Unless some kid wants to screw with you. In which case, there's no recourse for you. <laughs> I mean, that's also one of the things you could do. You could just plug it in and only not put a wireless feature on it and uh, just plug it in to get your your information. It sucks. We're actually, like, um, really, really vulnerable um, like a lot of cars that can park themselves now, uh, that's, that's totally like, uh, you can get hacked on those and have people drive your car away if they really wanted to, especially if the car company wanted to, they could do that, no problem. Uh, I do, what if you're with a hot Asian AI bot and then some fat Russian hacks it, it... <laughs> and that would probably, I mean, that's, that might be something that happens. Um, that might be something, in fact, that just happens. What am I going to do with this leg? I mean, that's, <laughs> even now, you know, they're doing that, um, they have, they have these guys that do, like, AI profiles, and it's just AI, AI pictures of girls, and they, uh, there's a famous one that, that was, like, uh, controversial not too long ago, because it's like, I, I had 10,000 simps for my AI girl. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's like uh, he, he was getting donations and stuff and making all this money off of this girl. And uh, he just uploaded, uploaded to Instagram and um, Uh, totally had all these guys simping on them. <laughs> uh, so that's, uh, your concern is valid, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that's just going to happen, man. You get a... Um, gosh, uh, did you see that video? I don't know if Luke sent it to you. It's like that guy who does nothing. In Japan, he'll go on dates with you or go shopping with you, and he just walks around with you and doesn't really talk. Mostly he stays on his phone and stuff, just so that it looks like you have company. And that's his professional job, and he has over 5,000 reviews. <laughs> like, people hire him. Um, people hire him just to hang out. Uh <laughs> Like, it sounds like a sweet gig if you can get it, but, um, but, uh, you, you know, like, pe people are, are that desperate for human companionship. Sounds like a dream job. <laughs> yeah, and he's, and he's, he says, uh, like, he'll talk to, to people, but he only answers, like, uh, yes or no questions, pretty much. He's like, oh, yeah. Or he'll say, like, two-word sentences, um, like, at the most. Like, his job is to, like, sit there and pretend to be disinterested in everything. So, so he's totally, like, a, a follows, follows along in NPCs. <laughs> NPCs himself for you. <laughs> and it's like, um, you know, Japan enjoys its technology. They're like... They embrace it more than we do, uh, the quicker. 
and so it's like um, they're having the opposite thing happen, right? Like where they're they're tired of 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 the of like the cyber loneliness, <laughs> so they're they're going the other way. That's why a job like this can exist because. Um, because they have so much uh, technology that it's like um, uh, they they got to find solutions to get around it, right? Oh man, this boot is just messing me up. Well, it's off screen that I'm drawing it. Let's see if I go a little higher. So all these decisions. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does mean it doesn't exist. And so I'm drawing, I'm drawing some stuff down here to. Uh, to uh, do this space right here. I've got some um, figures that I just want hanging out here. Not sure what I'm going to do below them. Um, yeah, we're going to put a couple of chicks right here and this dude kind of hanging out with them and, um, uh, being a loser. <laughs> but we do need some... some more people. Like I said, the theme of the of the table is how people interact with their new technocracy, not um maybe they should rant in it. He may maybe he is. <laughs> you never know. He very well could be. Um I think I did to the bottom of this, so if I like real lean out this way. Um I'm not sure. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Why not? We'll put a, another girl there. Just need to figure out what to do with this leg now that I'm glared this up for myself so badly that I can barely see. And then the graphite doesn't help. Oh, we will figure that out as well. So yeah, I keep messing up on this boot over here. I think I'm trying to bend it too much, bend it unrealistically. And that's messing it up pretty good. That's not too bad. Seems like his foot is too big, maybe. Maybe just got big feet. Uh, who was I thinking of? I was thinking of that guy um, from like Final Fight. <laughs> the mohawk and the jacket that's too big. <laughs> we need one of those guys around here. 
<laughs> Big old pussy, pussy jacket. Like an anarchy symbol on the back because he's old school. <laughs> Thinks he knows what that means. Chain bracelets. Uh, I don't know if that will come across. We will. Is that is that really part of the style? Am I messing up by putting these boots on him? Maybe he should have. Does he need baggy pants like over the boots? I'm not sure. I think he does. Um, we should be working in here. We need more graffiti to put in there. Make it look wilder. Um, I'll put some random, you can't even tell what's in here, so we'll put some random stuff. That color looks great. Blend it in like that. Yeah, you can't even tell. That's okay. Because everything's so cluttered over there, you can't really see anything anyway, so. Oh. Let's see. Um. See everyone sitting on oh man I messed up. This seems to come down to here. It just doesn't make sense that his legs all like that. Yeah, this needs to come down to here. Which is fine. We can fix that easy enough. If he fits, no, I think this looks better though. His legs too big now. Mm, he looks kind of huge. Damn it, I'm not happy with this now. <laughs> oh boy. Let's let me do pencil first. I just really think we just have to move everything over because I don't like him being that close. Should look more like an NPC. I had a picture in my head, damn it. We gotta go with it. I'm not sure what he's doing with his hands. I feel like he was I was about to put a cigarette in there, but Maybe I should put one of those mouth adorers they were talking about. <laughs> that way I won't look at them and want to have a cigarette. <laughs> no, I'll probably still want a cigarette. I don't want to look at the table and I have to want a cigarette. It's like, um, you saw Cowboy Bebop, didn't you? <laughs> Every episode of Cowboy Bebop makes me want to have a cigarette. Wow, I love, love, love that. 
love that anime, but man, it makes me want to have a cigarette so bad. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. When, when Spike is super depressed at the end of the episode, <laughs> and he takes that, he takes that cigarette, and he just lights up, and then it, da 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 song starts, it's like, Holy hell, man, if I don't have a cigarette right now, I'm about to die. <laughs> it pretty much is a subliminal smoke thing, man. Yeah. There we go. Just trying to make this look distressed. I don't want it to be clean and stuff. Aishi te tato Nageku ni wa Amari ni moto ki wa sugi Te shimata Mada kukuru no Hukuru biyo Iase no mama kaze ga Fu iteru Freaking, <laughs> freaking cowboy bebop, man. It's on a cigarette so bad. <laughs> All right. Screw it. We'll put some more massive jugs around here. This girl leaning over the rail trying to figure out what's going on. Maybe she's yelling something. I don't know. I hope these ladies... I might have to switch just one because... I don't want to cover up all the mechanism in here. Mm. Well, we'll see. Someone in like a Tron suit on this girl, maybe. Uh, not exactly like Tron, but close. Um, Tron. Tron's awesome. Some let's see, smoke. I'm definitely gonna have be having one of those after this stream. Now that I totally planted that in my own head. Uh, nope, this doesn't fit. Let's make her small. Start from this side up, that's where I'm messing up. And I'm going to leave it alone because it's not coming out super easy. So we got tons of stuff to grow. I definitely want to put a little bit more graffiti by our tenor sign. Um, 
so that we can actually finish the space instead of just kind of have it done. <laughs> that would be probably advantageous. Um, I think a little graffiti in there and that well, at least this area will be done. I just got to decide on a color because I want to have all the, all the colors on this wall. That's what graffiti artists do. They, they use all the colors. And I was pretty anxious to use one of these oranges. Um, because it looks so bright. I don't know if I want the neon bright one. Ooh. Man, that's like a highlighter. That one's intense. Um... That is the most intense neon color out of all the neon colors that, that I got. I think we'll go with a more regular orange. Still pretty bright, but it's, it's not that high vis hunters kind of blazing in the sun bright. Which, uh, and then we'll write something silly for our graffiti. You're not going to be able to read it anyway. Um, <laughs> we would just write exactly what we wrote last there. Uh, uh, ink on ink off. It's pretty cool, actually. Really going pretty well. There we go. <laughs> Can't see if it says smoke or stink, but <laughs> we will know. <laughs> we will know. Um, let's add a little bit more right there. And still needs a little more graffiti. It doesn't look busy enough. People want to graffiti a wall. It gets pretty crazy. Um, let's go with something small. So it looks like people have been putting Sharpie on this thing. And we'll write a limerick. Nah, no. Nah. We won't write a limerick, but... Maybe we'll write a phrase of some sort. Which again, you probably won't be able to read, but that's okay. This looks too white. Maybe I'd probably wipe that off. Um, let's just write some stuff. Um, <laughs> why not? 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing stuff off screen again. I mean, it doesn't. It's not a big, big deal. But we do wanna. We wanna finish up here in this area. We're 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 getting there to where the saturation of uh, graffiti. Uh, is is becoming. It's becoming believable and consistent with the rest of our wall. And uh, making it making it good enough to my liking. Right on, brother. Thanks for stopping by. We will see. We'll, we'll talk. We'll see you soon. We'll talk to you soon. And uh, your your things coming up soon. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be streaming your your commissioned artwork. Thank you for letting me do that, by the way. And thank you for letting me uh, for being extra patient and uh, allowing me to to wait until I have that uh, device that I'll be showcasing soon. Um, that was extra, extra cool. Right on, but yeah, for sure. Thanks for start, thanks for stopping by, man. We'll, I'll let you know when I put that stream up. <clears throat> Leads. Oh, that's great. You guys are, you guys are going to enjoy that when, um, if you, if you caught my commissions announcement, um, you'll know that the copter hired me for a commission. Um, and we did a workshop where we, we decided what his commission was going to be, how it was going to be. And then we, um, because he's been real gracious, he's, he's letting me um, stream it, which is something that I do give a little discount for um, because it helps me put my uh, show my work off you know um, if you don't want anybody else to see your commission I do that as well but um, I will respect your, your your wishes as far as as far as that stuff goes any way you want to do it but do hit me up for some commissions guys if you catch this video happy to do that for you <clears throat> send some send some love my way and uh, let me do some badass artwork for you uh, that that would be absolutely awesome for everyone um looks much much better okay let's find another random color and I did try a pink didn't I I tried a pink and it came out that awesome color up there um did I put a another pink in here and I'm just gonna draw yeah huh well I really like that <laughs> whatever it is <laughs> um Still looks like it needs a little bit more graffiti. So we're gonna just put some random stuff in here. And 
And maybe we'll grab a different color. Um, maybe we need another purple. Maybe a magenta. That's a beautiful magenta, too. Uh, this is... <laughs> Nobody gets to know what I'm writing back here. <laughs> all my inside jokes. Maybe I should have waited until that dried. Or maybe I'll grab a sharpie and power through it. See how impatient I'm being. Yep. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Now I feel like it has enough graffiti. Maybe just enough. But that is awesome because that means we're actually done with this area. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we still needed this this little part of this robot head up here um, and we can start moving our way back down this way um, Alright. Um I did just want this robot to be like military green of some sort. So he is gonna end up just green. Uh now I, f I feel like I'm all this stuff that I'm trying down here is blocking too much of this robot for me. So Maybe what you need to do is move these characters down a bit. I'm not sure though. Um, maybe if we get these characters lined, we can figure this out. Not even sure where to go with it. And. I mean, normally I have a whole week to think about it. That's why I thought I wanted to put some characters here. But then it turns out when you put them in and make them the right size and uh, in the pose that you want, that maybe they're taking up too much space or not enough space or whatever the case may be. And just got to adapt. No, um, no big deal. Uh, compromise with yourself. And it, it's we are we're taking the the route of making it easy, taking it easy. Um, we're not going to s stress out about it. We're just going to see how it comes out. So that's exactly what we want to do. Um, we just want to enjoy the process. Um, I wonder if I should just be gratuitous with this and like put her, like maybe she's clasping her hands. Yeah, why not?
<laughs> These people over here are so disinterested in all the violence and explosions that are going on. <laughs> I like that. They look uh, rather jaded, which is a, a good thing because this uh, technocracy it's not a not a good place to believe to be living. I can barely talk. Um, uh, I can't even see any of that because his hair is going to cover. Now we can move his hair. I guess we can. would make more sense that way anyway. And I'm not happy with these arms though. I do like the disinterest, but yeah, let's do that. I liked the disinterest, but I didn't like the pose. Didn't didn't like the pose. Maybe if we fix this face, it'll it'll all come together for us. All right? Seems like it is. Seems like it's coming together. Yeah. All right, coming together pretty good. Let's see if I don't mess it up with this hair. No, I'm pretty happy with that. Dry a bit. Um, but now that I'm looking at it, it looks like this will be in the way anyway. So maybe that was pointless, <laughs> but maybe this other thing will work out for me. Um, uh huh. Um, yeah, that will probably actually work out, but this actually won't. That sucks. That's. Just gonna have to scrap that idea altogether because it wasn't working out. And all that work I did finding this line earlier, that's all gone. Because I drew all over it. But that's also okay. We're gonna have to find something else to put in there. That's that's um more interesting. Couldn't squeeze something in there. What a waste of time. But not, not, uh, not, not really. I mean, you, you, you're not going to find out until you do it. You can, you can learn to visualize better and it'll save you some time. But at the end of the day, 
uh, sometimes what you're visualizing, what you're looking at, what you're doing, aren't, aren't going to be exactly the same. That's okay. Um, if, it's, if it was like a single figure or something, that's no problem because you get that down. But when it gets this complex, you... Maybe might start needing to put some line work down to see what's going on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to put there now. Well, I did want this awning. I want to turn this into an awning. Should be able, barely be able to see that. Um... Like a can, maybe a candy striped awning. Um, not sure, but I need to decide what's going in here. Not, not super sure about what's going in there. Maybe I should find a color for this robot. Maybe. Let's see if it's been really organized around here. Because we are that kind of artist that makes a mess. <laughs> That's okay. Um, some of us thrive in chaos. <laughs> um, Maybe, maybe I have to line this guy first, and that'll tell us, because he's kind of in the way. So we'll see what's behind him, well, we'll see how we fit stuff behind him. Maybe that's what we, what we need to do. definitely need more more punks in our cyberpunk people are gonna look at me and say Hector that's not enough punks I'm gonna have to go here right it's not enough punks I don't know what I was thinking I'm so sorry guys <laughs> <laughs> don't don't accuse me of not having enough punks. Oh. There are no spots. Chin covered up by his collar a little, huh? That might actually look pretty cool. He's got the high collar jacket. Gotta have that big. Gotta have a guy in a big old jacket in your cyberpunk universe. I think that's a law somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Let's do some wrinkles in the coat here. Some creases. All right. Maybe like a cuff thing. He just needs a. He definitely needs some sort of cuff. What's he doing? Is he sobbing, weeping, smoking? 
Maybe he's looking at his phone like a jerk. <laughs> just kidding, he's not. He's alone, guys. You can look at your phone while you're alone. It's just kind of rude to do in public. I know you younger guys don't think so. Um, he's looking into the future in his phone. Uh, something like that. Is he too big? I think he's too big. Yeah, he shouldn't be bigger than our Cyber Samurai. That guy should be huge. And he is, he's pretty big, but this guy's too big. Let me stand up and make sure, because that I'm on the side over here on the table, slanted, and... He's not super big, he's just a tiny bit too big. Just a tiny bit. We can... We can shrink him down pretty easy. All that coat and the boots and everything. I need him a tiny bit too big. I have to move him around a little bit. This at this size. Much better. Let's put those cups back on there. And this funky hairdo. Oh, that's right. I wanted to stir this one line. Oh. Alright, guys, it looks like the time's coming up. I usually like this for four hours. And I am starting to feel a little fatigue. We did get our line down here for our little cyberpunk buddy. Sorry, I was off camera for the last bit there. We filled in some space. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. We fixed some stuff up that needed to be fixed. Remember, guys, I am taking commissions. Not all of my artwork looks like this. Get on my Instagram, which is in my... Um, I'm not I'm not saying this doesn't... <laughs> like, this artwork is awesome. I love it. Um, but I, I am a comic book guy. Uh, I love comic book stuff, so that's a huge influence. Um, old, old school comics, not so much the new stuff, although I do think they're, a lot of that is really awesome looking. Um, I do like realistic stuff, though, uh, which is what I normally like to do. And um, get around there on my Instagram and see I have a variety of art uh, that I can do, styles that are that I'm fluent in. And I can also, you know, uh, ta tailor tailor my style to whatever you need. Um, I'm, I'm pretty good at that because, like I said, as a comic book guy, as a heavy metal fan, by which I mean uh, Metal Herlant, if you're into that stuff, like all those guys are my heroes, like I can, uh, I can throw down some awesome art. Um, and commissions are open, as you probably saw across the bottom of the screen there, if I bothered to change it and make it right. Um, <laughs> I can't remember. 
I was a little little rushed this this uh this stream to get to get everything together. Um but thank you for joining me. Remember if you see this, like, share, subscribe, follow, hit the notifications, all that different stuff. Especially share guys. Help me grow this channel and get 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 me out there to let, help me get a little traction so I can uh make a few bucks and uh, help help step up and make my dream of uh, putting out a role-playing system, um, a role-playing game out for everybody to enjoy. Um, we are going to we are going to call it right there. Thank you for joining us, guys. Um, we will see you next week. Remember, this happens every week. Check down the schedule so you can look at all the other stuff that I'm doing. We're doing some really cool, some really cool stuff. Take care, guys.